how to create a landing page on Shopify. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back to yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about the easiest way on how you can create landing pages on Shopify and it's going to be an absolutely amazing and really complete and fun tutorial so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to get the whole general idea of all of this in the easiest way. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So to start things off, obviously we're gonna wanna make sure that we're logged into our Shopify and everything is fully set it up and all. Now once we're logged in and everything is set it up, from there what we are going to want to do is we're gonna go ahead into our basic uh, you know, Shopify builder section. And the builder section is basically over here. Now you can you know, create a landing page using the custom themes that you have and you can create it customly, you know, that's nice and easy, but I would 100% recommend or prefer using an application, which is a pretty uh, famous or incredible application to use. So definitely go with an application when it comes to creating a landing page on an application like Shopify. So in our case, we are going to be using an amazing application called PageFly. Yes, you've heard me right, PageFly. It is one of the most popular and widely used page builders on Shopify, and it's specifically known to build great landing pages. So to add PageFly, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead into Add Apps, and we're going to go over to the Shopify App Store. Now, once you go over to the Shopify App Store, what's going to happen from there is it's going to start loading things up, and here we go. So as we load in, the first thing you're going to see is PageFly over here. It says PageFly Landing Page Builder. So we're just going to click on that. And once you click on that, we're going to click on Install. So it's specifically known to make landing pages. Okay, it's a page builder, but the speciality about it, the main feature design goes around building landing pages. So that is exactly what we are going to be doing and talking about right now. Now, once we head into creating our landing pages, I'm also going to show you the different types of workings and designs you can uh, use to actually make these landing pages. So I'm going to click on install app. And uh, once you click on install app, it's going to load things up right here. So here we go. Shopify store dashboard uh, loads all the things in page fly page builder. It takes you through a small setup. OK, and you are going to want to make sure to fill all those necessary bits in because after you fill all those things in is only when it allows you to actually work with the PageFly landing page builder. So you can get a quick startup guide for yourself if you want to, or you can just start from scratch and create your first landing page. OK, now you can use as templates and all those things as well. But before doing that, you're going to enable these two things. So PageFly theme helper is disabled. OK, and UI optimization is disabled. So you're going to have to enable both these things, right? So first of all, we're going to do this and we're going to go to the theme editor and we're going to enable this. So I'm going to come to a theme editor, enable that. And I'm also going to enable the UI optimization, which I'm going to do in a moment. OK, I'm going to accept all cookies and click on enable UI optimization. So that's going to fix that issue. And while that is happening, I'm also going to make sure to turn the page theme helper on. Once that is on, I'm going to click on save. Once that is saved, I'm just going to wait for this bar to load up. And once the bar loads up, I'm just going to back out of this tab as so. Now, once you backed out of your tab, I'm going to reload the page. So, you know, it realizes that we have fully fixed and, uh, you know, done everything accordingly. So once we do this it's going to bring us to this dashboard section again and uh, you know it clearly isn't giving us any you know uh, sign or error up here so i'm just going to come over recent pages and click on create your first page so you have regular home product blog post collection password you know whatever type of page you want to go with or you can just create it from template right so i'm going to click on create it from template and i'm going to go with the regular okay and in regular you can go with the type of page you want to go with. Now, currently, I obviously want to go with my landing page. And you can choose any of these for your landing page on Shopify, right? Now, Shopify is obviously your, uh, 
you could say basic um, e-commerce store, right? So it gives us e-commerce related pages. And uh, obviously, if you want to go with some free ones uh, or some popular ones, you can also see the number of times they've been used on the number of pages they've been used on. So let's say I'm going to go with this one, right? So I'm going to go with this template that PageFly has given me. So once we go with that template, I'm going to just uh, wait for things to load up. And uh, as things load up in the editor, it uh, gives you a very, uh, you could say, broadened and wide feature spectrum to actually edit on, which is something I like about PageFly because the builder is much better than Shopify's stock builder and it just gives us so many good things. So first of all, you can add elements that you can, you know, essentially get for yourself. Okay, so these are the elements that you can find on PageFly only. So content list, slideshow, different types of layouts that you essentially want to get your head around, right? And then there's things like content list, accordion, heading, paragraph, button, lists, liquid, icon, divider, image, YouTube video, Vimeo, HTML, Instagram, uh, Twitter feed, QR code, and just a whole lot more. So, you know, really basic, really easy stuff to get your head around. Uh, then you can add different layouts for yourself. You have different images that you can select, different stylings, uh, desktop works, and a whole lot more. So these are different things that you can work with using the PageFly Builder. And obviously use the template accordingly. Like you can also start it from scratch, but why would you if you have a template on your hand, right? So once you've had your template out in the open, you're just going to use it uh, as well and as perfectly as you can. And once you've uh, used it accordingly to your working ethic, uh, all you're going to do from there is you're going to click on save. Once you click on save, you're going to give the page a title. So I'm just going to call it LP for a landing page. Okay. And uh, once you do that, you're going to click on save. And uh, once you've done all of that and saved everything, you're finally going to click on publish. Okay. And once you click on publish, obviously what that will do is it will publish this page onto your Shopify. So I'm just going to click on publish page. Okay. And it says we are giving you one free slot. Obviously the next, all the next slots are going to be paid. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on publish and uh, it's going to publish that page onto your store. Okay. So really incredible, really easy and really fun stuff to get your head around, right? So the overall gist of this is really helpful. So you're going to come over to your Shopify over here as so and uh, like to actually see if the page has worked and if it uh, got deposited. I'm just going to reload my Shopify page and uh, once we reload the Shopify page, I'm just going to wait for everything to work out accordingly. I'm going to go into my home section and I'm going to go to my online store, come over to pages and wait for the pages to load up. And once the pages load up, obviously you're going to see all the pages uh, visible over here. And that's the easiest, most simplest way on how you can make a landing page on your page fly page builder or landing page builder so that's how easy and fun it is so yeah that's essentially about it for this video now if you enjoyed watching please do make sure to drop down a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see all of you next time goodbye